This is Hydrogen Tap um, back again. Ran out of time on the other video, so we're looking at the inside of the Focus that I took out of the Honda. If you go back one video, you'll see that. Looking at the spacers on the Focus cell, I used two 16th, one sixteenth of an inch spacer, putting them together to give us an eighth of an inch and the nylon is fine. Also the nylon screw that goes through them all, I cut it off to take the plates apart, but you can see it's fine also. All the nylon held up just great. This is your neutral plate. You can see there's no hole in the top. These are neutral plates. Neutral, neutral, neutral. And one of the positive or negative plates. You can tell that by the hole in the top. There's the other. All in all, the plates are looking great. No problem whatsoever. The coating that we see on here is not bad actually. Some people say the coating does well. Again, I don't really go by somebody's, but so far, as far as I'm concerned, the focus system is working great. Had no problems. None of the problems everyone seems to be claiming. Again, this was distilled water. This is the uh, plate that goes to the top. As you can see, it's got that coating on it also. So there was distilled water in here. We still got the reddish brown, but it didn't hurt anything. Filtering it out would be interesting, but we're going to take a look at that uh, water that came out of there now. Okay, we're looking at the water that was distilled water that came out of the Focus cell that was in the Honda. And uh, if you've been around the cells long enough, you remember the garbage that used to be in them. This is nothing like that. In fact, uh, put your finger in there, you can't even tell that it's on it. But one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a test. And that test is I'm going to stick this, there are four very, very strong earth magnets, and I'm going to put it in the water. I'm going to see if we get any kind of attraction to it at all. And the answer is no. So let's try it over here. Actually, let me take another look at that. I'm going to try to get some contrast in here. Get a good shot of it. And what we're going to do is put this very strong magnet to the side here and see if we get a reaction. What's really interesting, you see that white spot there. I'll zoom in on it. It's got to be a piece of metal. And it's obviously being drawn by it, but none of the red material is coming over to that magnet. 
those are rare earth magnets and there are four of them believe me if there's anything magnetic in that red it would all be coming over give you some idea how strong that magnet is How's that? Probably magnetize that tool. That's really nice. At any rate, as you can probably see, other than those few particles in there that are some pieces of metal that somehow got pulled in there, the red is not being drawn to it, which is telling me it's not rust. That's my assumption. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but to me that's a pretty good oops pretty good there's more over there, and I'll move this around as you can see. It's not doing a darn thing to it, so that red is not rust if it was rust, it should come to it. You can see the other particles are definitely swimming to it. Okay. That means something, huh? But not least, so to speak, we've got the seal, which you can see is literally... Well, I don't know what went on with it, but it definitely didn't do the job. It seemed that it kept getting tighter and tighter but when I'm looking at it here it does not look like there's anything wrong with it I glued it to the bottom so that's not it so at this point I can't tell what it was but it was definitely loose okay checking over the tube now everyone told me the tube wouldn't handle the heat of course they were all wrong One of the problem, one of the reasons probably they were wrong is I keep calling this PVC. It's not really PVC because it's the, in America, we have a tube that's, that's much, much stronger than that. So I'm not an expert on plumbing tools, but I do understand this isn't really called PVC. It's a different version of it. Anyway, there, if you want to look, there's what I'm using. But as you can see, it isn't distorted, and so far all my tests have shown that I seem to know what I'm doing. These are all the fittings that I had on it. And uh, take a look at the bottom, see how it held up. What I was really interested in is this, and I'm going to take that apart now. The part I'm interested in is this moving the bottom part of it what I'm interested in is seeing if these aluminum plates dug into the bottom they definitely didn't dig into the bottom at all because the first thought when I saw that was loose the seal was loose was that these were somehow distorting but they're not and if we look at the top fitting of the bottom there they didn't dig into that either so everything seems to be fine I'm rather pleased with it the cell is totally held together great everything about it is proof that it's hardy no problems whatsoever with the heat in the car uh, the only problem I had was with the seal, and of course that can be fixed, and we'll improve it. If you want to write me, you can write me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com, or you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com. I'll be posting the findings on that. If you go to hydrogentap.com and click on YouTube, you'll see all the...